Hello, what is up everybody? In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install a Moonlight mod after the creator pulled out the API plug. So, what you want to do is you want to you want to get grab the zip file that I send you on Discord. It will be it should be called Moonlight Zips Moonlight DLLs right here. What you want to do with this is that you want to extract it. Now on Windows, if you right click, it should say extract all. On Linux, it's extract here. But for my Windows users out there, it's extract all. Then what you want to do is that you want to locate the folder that contains the DLLs. Once you do this, you will get two folders right here. A mods folder and a plugins folder. Now what you want to do here is you want to open up a new fold you want to open up a new file window and navigate to VRChat's directory. You want to navigate to uh, Steam, Steam Apps, wherever Steam Apps is, Common, VRChat. Now on Windows it is a different directory than this. On Windows it would be C colon slash app data where it would be app, uh, percent app data percent and then Steam should be somewhere in that area. So what you want to do here first of all is you, wanna, you see where it says mods and plugins. The folder, the files that are in the mods folder and the files that are in the plugins folder go in their own respective directories. Now what you want to do so you want to paste the, these mods into this folder. But once you do that, hold up, I gotta do something real quick. What you want to do then is that you want to. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay. So you open up the mods folder and you paste these mods in here. Like so. Now, what you want to do after this? This is the most important step you could do. The creator the the create the, the server owner who managed the server that I use as the that we use as the back end for this pulled the plug on the server because of the IK 2.0 update and he the the server owner is switching hands right now so as of right now if you don't do this step these mods will delete itself so here's how you prevent this you right click on the mods folder click properties and you want to change the folder to read only that way the the files within this folder cannot be changed. So you want to do this with the folder and the files. On Windows it might be a little more difficult because you might have to do it with each file individually. So once you get once you get all that done, once the plugins the mods folder is read only, once all that's fully read only, I'm going to make these read only as well. That way, whenever you load up Melon Loader, it does not restrict, it does not delete these fi files because the server is telling it to. So make sure that it is read only. On Windows, if you click Properties, somewhere down here, there should be a read only box on Windows. I'm going to pause the video real quick and pull up some documentation on Windows real quick and I'll be right back. Yep, you can do this in Windows. This is the official documentation from Microsoft's official website where if you want to set a file or folder as read only, you want to go to properties and then you click the general tab and select read only. Usually the read only uh the read only thing is towards the bottom of the f uh window in Windows. I pull up images, it should be here. Yes. This is the diagram I want. Right here. So this is what it looks like on Windows. You would have to click read only. You'd have to do that to the file and the folder. And then once that's done, you should be good. And then when you launch Melon Loader, 
Okay, I guess that my video recorder is in the way. Chat. Um, how do I get this out of my way? Whatever. That should do it. Okay, so if you launch VR chat, it uh, it'll load up. Do you know? Do its thing. It might take a little bit because uh, I am recording, and my graphics card isn't really the best, so it's you know doing more than it's supposed to already. I'm gonna pause the video until it's done. All right, Steam popped up, and it should be doing its thing now. So here's I'm about to show you how you'll be able to tell if it's working once it pops up any minute now shouldn't be too much longer okay it's launching it might take a little while it might take a little longer to launch than usual because uh... you, you do have mods in the folder and this tutorial only works if you already have melon loader installed in your system installing melon loader is a separate documentation like a separate video there are plenty of tutorials already out there on YouTube, so I, I won't be adding how to install Melon Loader in this tutorial. This this video is for people who already have Melon Loader installed and can no longer use Remod, or my Remod fork that I already have. So, uh, any moment now, VR Chat should load up. Okay, right here. Now, once this loads up. You should see Moonlight Loader and Moonlight Patcher in the Plugins folder. That's how you know it loaded up properly. And it should be doing the patches. It should not... This is good right here. This means that it blocked the request to delete the DLLs. And if you see this loaded up and it's not V version goodbye and it's version 3.7, is how you know you got it done correctly. If it says version goodbye, and it doesn't let you use the client, that is how you know that you've fucked up somewhere. So yeah, that is it for today's tutorial. I will be sending this video to people on Discord. Hope you'll have a nice day, and I will see you guys in the next one.